We are in a spiritual war. There's no doubt about it. And uh, Ephesians 6, 12 says, we war not against flesh and blood. Just stick with me this morning and believe me when I say your circumstance is not your problem. <laughs> the people that irritate you are not your problem. There's something behind that that is the real problem. And when Satan works through a person, let's just say maybe he works through a person to try to keep you upset all the time. Anybody have a person like that in your life? It's like you get up, you're having a pretty good day, and oops, they show up, and <laughs> it's all over. Well, the way to win your battles, now listen to what I'm going to say. The way to win your battles is to realize, have your eyes wide open, realize what the enemy's trying to do and respond the exact opposite from the way he wants you to respond. Amen. You know, if we'll stop letting the enemy control us, we can be a great witness to other people. You know, the enemy tried to use me in the beginning days of my marriage to make Dave unhappy. Because I was unhappy, and so when a person's unhappy, then he can easily work through that person to try to make other people unhappy. But Dave wouldn't let me make him unhappy. He stayed happy no matter what I did. And it was infuriating to me <laughs> for a period of time. Remember, I said for a period of time. But after a while, it began to impress me. And I began to realize he's got something that I not only don't have, I've never seen anybody have it. Because I grew up in a home that was full of turmoil, and everybody just responded emotionally to everybody else's emotional response. But here's a man who is calm, stable, and he would just tell me, you know, I want to love you, but if, if, you won't, if you won't receive it, there isn't anything I can. I remember when he said to me, you know what, I've tried to make you happy, and you really are determined you're not going to be happy, and so I'm not going to try to make you happy anymore, but I am going to enjoy my life. So now, what would happen in some of the relationships that you have? Now, come on, let me talk to you today. What would happen in some of the relationships that you have if you would make that decision today? I'm going to pray for that person. I'm going to show them the love of God. But I am not going to let the devil work through them to steal my joy that Jesus died to give me. Don't let somebody else's bad choice determine your destiny. That's worth writing down. Don't let somebody else's bad choice determine your destiny. Ephesians 6, 12, we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. Get a hold of that. We are not wrestling with flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents, but against the despotisms, the powers, the master spirits who are the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly supernatural sphere. How much plainer can it get than that? We're dealing with enemy demonic spirits. And I know when you start talking about demons and evil spirits that, you know, there's a part of us that just goes, Ew, do we have to talk about that today? Well, somebody better talk about it. Because I'll tell you, for most of my life, well, not most of my life, because I've lived a long time since then, but I mean, up until the time that I was probably close to 40, I mean, I just, I went to church every week, and I never, I never heard a good sermon on the devil. And I don't think that's right. We need to let people know they have an enemy. And they need to be well-versed in what the Bible says about Satan and the devil and demons and evil spirits. 
And we need to know, according to the Word, how to test and try the spirits and not believe everything that comes along. Come on. God has given us the ability to have discernment. If we'll live by what we sense in our heart instead of off the top of our head, we can even avoid being so desperately hurt by other people who pretend to be one thing and turn out to be something else. How many times do you just sense that something's not right, something's not right, something's not right, but you can't really put your finger on it. You don't really get it. You don't really understand what it is. And so you go ahead and go with your head and then end up in a big mess. I've learned to pay attention to that. It's like, mm, I think I'll just put the brakes on here and be a little bit more careful. I don't want the enemy to use people anymore to try to destroy me. And so I went to church for all those years, and I don't know what it was I thought about the enemy, but I certainly never, it never, I mean, I never heard a message that he was my problem, that it was the devil who worked through my dad to try to destroy my life, and that he, in fact, did that because God knew that, because I had a call on my life and God intended to use me. And so from the very moment that I opened my little baby eyes, the devil was there trying to destroy me. My first name is not Joyce, it's Pauline. And Pauline Joyce means little preacher with a joyful spirit. So my father who named me didn't realize that even though he was abusing me, every time he called me, he was saying, little preacher with a joyful spirit. <laughs> and you know what? I've got the greatest testimony you can have. I'm still here. Right. Amen.